Good afternoon. My name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team at Harvesting History. Harvesting History is an American horticultural company that specializes in heirloom varieties of seeds, roots, sets, flower bulbs, and other plant material. Today we're going to be talking about planting peppers in the ground, but before we get into that subject, I want you to focus on these beautiful little things. These are the shallots that I taught you how to plant last fall, and they look spectacular this year. They'll be ready to harvest sometime near the end of July, but right now they look exceptional. So let's get back to planting our peppers. The first thing you want to do when you're going to plant these peppers is you're going to dust the surface of the soil with this product. This product is called copper fungicide. It is the powder form and is manufactured by a company called Bonide. B-O-N-I-D-E. Do not get the spray form, get the powder form. Now, if you can't find it at your local garden center or your hardware store, then just come online or call our company and we always have this product on hand because we think so highly of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to just lightly dust the area where you're going to plant your pepper. The reason that you use this product is because since 2008 if you lived east of the Mississippi River, and in particular in the Mid-Atlantic or in the Northeast, you had a problem, or your neighbors have had a problem, with various forms of fungal blight. Early season, mid-season, and late season blight. This will help you manage that disease on your pepper plants, on your egg plants, on your potato plants, and on your tomato plants. So don't forget this product. It's a great help to the gardener today. So we've dusted our area. You don't really have to worry about working the dust in because as you move the soil around, as you dig the hole for your pepper plant, you're going to move, you're going to work the copper fungicide into the soil. The second thing you're going to do is as you're getting ready to actually put the plant in the hole, you're going to add a little compost if, if you have access to compost. We're blessed by having access to our own compost pile, and so this, this liquid gold we can add right away. If you don't have access to compost, then take some dehydrated cow manure and mix it half and half with some soil and line the bottom of your hole with that. You'll find that the results are much better if you add that nutrient mix into the bottom of the hole before you plant your pepper plant. Then we're going to plant this little guy. This is, which one is this? This is a hot banana pepper, a very, very popular pepper today. It can be used for so many different things. I'm going to take off a few of the bottom leaves before I plant this. And notice I twist off the leaf, I don't cut it off. Then I'm going to remove the plant with some luck from its container. Notice how it is root bound. That's okay. That's what it should be at this time of the year. And then I'm going to nestle it down into that hole, into that compost, okay? Then what I'm going to do is gently, oh so gently, move the soil around this little pepper plant. And then I'm going to gently Press the soil down around the pepper plant, making sure that I press it firmly against 
the main stem so that there's very little wobbling. The last thing I'm going to do is give this little pepper plant a little bit of calcium. So what I'll do is use about a quarter of a cup and I like to use bone meal. There are other sources of calcium that you can use but bone meal works for me. And I have now completed the process of initially planting the pepper plant. A couple of things you need to consider. All plants need to be fed throughout the fruiting season. The product that I recommend is this one. It is the one that I have used for more than 10 years. It is tomato tone. I know it says tomato tone, but it's good for pepper plants, eggplants, potato plants, tomato plants, and even some melon and squash. So I feed my plants that I grow in the ground about every three to four weeks throughout the fruiting season with about a quarter of a cup of this fertilizer per plant. It is manufactured by a company called Espoma, E-S-P-O-M-A, located in New Jersey. And this, this product has been approved for organic farming. So if you are a committed organic farmer, you may use this product on your plants. I wish you much success this season with your fruiting vegetables and your other, the other things in your garden. And I encourage you to come to our website, which is www.harvesting-history.com and take a look at the various kinds of hot pepper and sweet pepper seeds that we have there, as well as our other heirloom plant products. I uh, wish you the best of luck this season. It looks like it's going to be a good one. It started out with a lot of rain, so we can't ask for more than that. And uh, hopefully the rain will dry up and the crops will come in like we've never seen before. Good luck and uh, great harvest.